Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. We've just exited the Hallucigen Incorporated building, which was basically full of charlatans even before the war. And now we have to go to the Hubris Comics over here to uh, clear out some raiders, I believe, or is it ghouls? I can't remember. But what the hell is that on the other side? It's like a theater. Open air theater. Look at this place. I should probably wait until it's uh, not night time. Missionary. Initiate. Okay, I don't want to uh, actually attack these guys. Hello. What is this place? Excuse me. Welcome. Oh, we found something. <clears throat> Hello, neighbor. Hello? How do you know we're neighbors? Initiate. Initiate. Missionary. Hey there. Here to learn about our movement? M what movement? You're part of a movement? That's right, friend. It changed my life, and it can change yours. Talk to Brother Andrew. He'll be more than happy to give you all the details. Welcome, neighbor. We're always Ooh. glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Uh, why do you ask? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Wait a Step second. right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. He almost sounds like a robot, and I'm looking at his face, and he almost seems the same as the guy behind him. I don't know, we'll see. Um, what's, the, what's it about? What's your movement all about? I'm glad you asked. Our mission is nothing less than to transform the entire Commonwealth one life at a time. Maybe you've seen pictures or heard stories about what life was like back before the Great War. Maybe you've wondered, why can't life be like that again? Well, neighbor, I'm here to tell you that it can be. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? How? Do it to yourself to give it a chance. I have questions. I have some more questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. Yeah, don't say that. Uh, change my mind? Requirements? What do I have to do to join your movement? That's the beauty of it, neighbor. You don't have to do anything. Except have a willing spirit and open your heart to the possibilities. Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? Uh, change my mind? What if I change my mind after I join? There's absolutely no obligation. But trust me, once you see how your life is transformed, you won't want to leave. Believe it or not, we have never had a single pillar leave after joining. There's not many groups like ours that could make that claim, are there? Anything else you're wondering about before we get started? Yeah, if if you turn your people into robots, then yeah, they can't leave your movement. What's your movement all about? Our mission is nothing less than to transform... Oh, we've already done tire. that. Maybe you... Maybe you want... Anything else? Hmm. I don't have any more questions. Good. You owe it to yourself. And I hope you're ready to chance. take your first step into your new life as one of the pillars of the community. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure. Of course. How could you be sure until you'd experienced it for yourself? Just follow me and we'll get you started on a trial basis. I'm sure once you've seen what we have to offer, you'll be glad you gave it a chance. Hmm, I don't trust this guy one bit, you know? Right this way, neighbor. Let's check him out. <clears throat> I hope you decide to change your life. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, he kind of looks the same. Yeah, look. <clears throat> I hope you decide to become I'm one of the pillars of the community. Yeah, I don't... This is weird. I have a feeling, and this guy is going with us, I have a feeling these are all, uh, these are all synths. Just follow me. I'm not trusting you, you bastard. Bloody missionaries. Don't worry. I don't bite. Yeah, I don't think so. So what's this... Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job, getting to welcome new members into our movement. Mm -hmm. The first step is simple. 
You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Hmm. Just go ahead and give me everything <laughs> you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. <laughs> Just give me everything. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding. You want me to give you everything I have? The first step is the hardest, neighbor. But it's the only way to cast off your old life and start on the road towards your future health, wealth, and happiness. Don't you think that's worth a small temporary sacrifice? Uh, what do I get? What do I get in return for giving you everything I own? You're still stuck in old thinking. You're still clinging to your old life. But that's what you came here to give up. And the first step is to shed yourself of your material possessions. Uh, threaten. <laughs> what? Well, did I save? There we go. I'm gonna quick save, and just out of interest, I'm probably gonna give him everything, but let's try to threaten him first. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. He's a threat to the oh, yeah, there you go. So what is he? Bottle cap? Hmm. Well, let's, let's reload this and see where it leads us. Shall we? Alright, so let's uh, give everything. Fine. <laughs> Here's everything I've got. Good choice. Congratulations. You're officially a pillar of the community. Look at him so, smile. here's level one. Repeat this mantra to yourself until you truly believe it. I deserve a better life. A better life is coming. A better life is almost here. Once you truly believe that in your innermost self, you will be ready for level two. That's when things will really start to happen for you. So in essence, they're, uh, they're just, you know, thief charlatans. Level two. How will I know when I'm ready for level two? Oh, you'll know. Good things will start to happen. You'll see. You just have to keep working on level one until they do. <laughs> there we go, and that's it. Excuse me. What is it, neighbor? Uh. How will I know when I'm ready? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Wait, let's see. Yeah, we're... <laughs> We've got nothing. <laughs> what is it, neighbor? Uh, I need my stuff back. Or else. There wasn't really a money back guarantee on all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> what is it, neighbor? Uh, never mind. No, thank you. I just wanted to thank you. Becoming a pillar has changed my life. Oh, uh, thanks. Just keep working on level one and see if good things don't start to happen. <laughs> I deserve a better life. Am I right? I'm still getting, uh, in the top left, all, everything that's <clears throat> removed. What is it, neighbor? <laughs> okay, never mind. So this was stupid, obviously, but I wanted to see what happens. So let's, uh, I'm changed. I'm not giving anything. You can't seriously think I'm handing over all my stuff. The world is full of suckers, pal. Just look outside. Every one of them wow. handed over everything they owned in return for, <laughs> well, hope. Sure, it's false hope, but hey, it was worth it to them. You bloody bastard. You can bastard. tell yourself whatever you want, but you're leaving here naked or horizontal. Your choice. Oh, I like this. Let's threaten him. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. That's not how this works. Alright. Nice. Because <laughs> these guys are bastards. Come here. No. Here. Come back in. Really? You're going to shoot my dog? Oh, great. Now the initiates are also fighting me. Yeah. Ow. Oh, they're quite difficult to kill these guys. Take that. Ow. Probably should heal up. Just a little bit. Man, I like the uh I like the shotgun. There. I'm I'm kinda sad I had to kill the uh, initiates. But these guys, yeah, are just complete idiots. 
So, uh, they deserve to... Well, they didn't exactly deserve to die, but hey, they attacked me, so that's what you get. I'm oh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, would you like eternal happiness? All you have to give me is your life. There you go. Right, let's unlock this advanced door. I like stuff like this. I like the fact that you can actually give them everything and then f feel like an idiot if you actually thought that was a good idea. But I, you know, you can you can see that he smells of bullshit from right from the beginning. And of course, this is probably their place and they live nicely. It's kind of out in the open though. I'm not sure that's the best idea for them, but there you go. All right. Uh, 308, do, 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 do. anything else? Bloody initiates. Postman's hat. Well, this is probably where they stored everything. Uh, this is where they slept. Sally's berry stick. I'm gonna take that, just so I can... Oh! Bottle caps. Lots of it, and stashes, and gold watches. And a walking cane. Mini nuke. Green shirt in combat boots, dirty water, ratty skirt. <laughs> um, flip lighters, surveyor's outfit. Wow. Lots of people actually gave them all of this stuff. It's crazy. Anti-freeze. Some coffee cups, which I'm gonna take for the ceramics they have. Yeah, so these guys were basically living it, you know, good. Um... Well, by taking other people's stuff without violence. Alright, so where do we have to go now? Map. We have to go right down here. Okay. So this is the hallucinogen. Yep, yeah, that's the hallucinogen building. Oh, huh, that's cool. Wasn't I over here already? Doesn't seem like I was. Used oil can. Axol. Chemistry station. Can I make anything? I can make drugs. Berry man tats. Five intelligence and highlights living targets. Buff jet. <laughs> Healing. Hmm. Glowing blood bag. 75 rad resist for 10 minutes. Not bad. Removes 300 rads. Removes all rads and cures addictions. Wow. Holy crap. That's actually really good. It uses two rads, two purified water. I'm actually gonna make this. Just in case I get addicted again. Syringer ammo. Does 30 points of damage over 10 seconds to target. Right, so let's also check the uh, weapons workbench. Oh, I, I gave um, Dogmeat that powerful rifle. Man, never mind. Yeah, see, this is a hardened combat rifle. But pro I can probably make it into a powerful rifle by, uh, you know, modifying it as well. So, oh man, look at this morning. That's pretty cool. I thought there was something moving over there. So let's go to this place. Radio signal lost. Ugh. That's kind of glowing. I don't like that. It's almost like there are glowing ones about. Which would be nasty because they are not very nice. Let's go back here. Now, I'm not even going to look. I'm going to get surprised. I don't know whether I'm supposed to kill... Um... um Ghouls here, or raiders? Oh. I guess it's raiders. Who's there? Yeah, it's raiders. Well, that's fine. Alright, let's go in. Hubris Comics! That's spooky. Ugh. And that monkey there. Wait a second. Oh, ghouls. It is ghouls. Alright, well, I only have a few shots of uh, this left. Oh, crap. Ugh. There they go. How the hell did I miss so many times? That was really bad. Burned Grognak comic. Burned Manta Mac. Manta Man. <laughs> Toy car, I gotta take that because it has screws, I believe. Toy truck as well. Bloody monkey. You're a crazy monkey. Oh, I got a key. Hell yeah. Unstoppables. Permanently gain plus one percent chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Prince not dead achievement. What the hell are these things? Look at them. Ugh. 
One has its brains exposed. Visit the Uxron galaxy. Oops, didn't want to do that. I think I can hear some, uh, <laughs> that hand reaching for the money. Um, some rad roaches as well. Not entirely sure. So what's on this comic store terminal? And there's a medi medikit down below it. Uh, current, horizon, no, nothing. Why are you doing this to me, Terminal? Why? Blast it, Terminal. That's right. There we go. So is none of the happens current horizon. Okay. Or current horizon happens. It's gonna be easier to remember. Because the current horizon does indeed happen. Oh, I was hoping there was gonna be a bracket thingy there. There we go. Tries reset. Nice. Oops. One here and one here. Anything else? Apparently, one here and one here. Wow. All right. Current horizon. Well, then. Order tracking. August pre orders. 95% of pre orders picked up last month. Ran out of Grognik twice. Requesting additional copies of Grognik. 102 Grognik the Barbarian lost in the snows of lust. 86 Captain Cosmos the radioactive spaceman from space. 31 Tales from the Front the Red Terror. 18 Underground Life Vault Boy Special. And 2 Manta Man Voyages of the Deep. September. Both of the Manta Mans were, uh, weren't picked up. No more pre-orders for Mr. Freely and Dover. The rest of the Manta's still in boxes. Putting them in the free bin tomorrow. Can we stop stocking these? <laughs> Got several inquiries about Silver Shroud comic book rumors. 110 Grognan the Barbarian Heavy the Oaken Crown. 85 Captain Cosmos vs. the Moon Men. 30 Tales from the Front, Someone Must Die. 9 Underground Life, Timmy's Big Adventure. And 2 Manta Men, the Shrimp of Doom. New subscribers. Our in-store subscription numbers remain dangerously low. We need to start laying in on the hard sell. Just remind the customers we do all the work. They just come in and pick up the issues. Oh, and it's 5% cheaper than doing it as a direct home mail order. Fortunately, we have had some new subscribers. Steven Damien, D Damienidis, Grogny the Barbarian, and so on and so forth. I dog. <laughs> All right, safe control. Don't really want to open it because I want to uh, unlock it myself. Stand back and right away. So where is this safe? Uh, what? Oh, there's something back here, I think. No. Ugh. Spooky. There's stuff going on about. Unlock. Oh, there's there's the uh, safe. There we go. Unfortunately, I already had a key for it. I wanted the XP of uh, actually doing it myself. But oh well. Now that goes up. Let's check uh, the store first. Nothing here. There's another bloody jangle is the moon monkey. Can I actually... Oh, scavenger's note. Uh-oh. Let's see the scavenger's note. Uh, maybe he wanted the comics as well. Which one is it now? One of the caravan guards said they passed by Greater Mass Blood Clinic a while back. Thought it might have some good scrap left to salvage. Might be worth a look. Uh, search for scrap in Greater Mass Blood Clinic. So that was the one, I guess. Can't believe I signed up for this. Who wants this scrap? Collectors, the boss says. Who? So who's the fool here? Them or us? Where were we seen from? Yeah, I wonder if you can take this monkey apart. Let's take it. Now let's check the junk. The space monkey. Cloth 3, plastic and fiberglass. Eh, I guess it's not too bad. It's only two weight. So it's not that bad. What's over here? Unstoppable comics. And a 10 millimeter pistol. Now well, let's go say hello to this uh, zombie over here. Well, cool. Hello. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Dead right away. There's still another level to this place, apparently. As you can see on the radar, there's stuff above us. Uh. Hello. Uh. Die. Really? Have I really missed it that much? Damn. I know I keep uh, putting it off on my, you know, the reason 
uh, for my headache. I mean, my headache is the reason I can't shoot them properly, but I'm guessing that excuse is gonna get old. They're up there. Ugh. Blah, 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 bloody hell! Holy crap! That scared the crap out of me. Shite. Right, let's, uh, let's keep it together there. Let's keep it together. God damn it. It just, it just got disoriented. He just jumped on me. That was very rude of him. Very rude. I will yes. report him to the, uh, Zombie conglomerate or whatever. Oh, there was another hubris. What was it? Comics key. Where? Somewhere. Oh, inside this table. <laughs> manager's office. Let's see what the manager says. After a very slow animation of getting to the terminal. That was weird. From Tina Hopkins. I came into work today and found another stealth revision to the shooting script. Now the Shroud has an English butler. I keep telling Babowski that we need our core fans to be our evangelists, so we can't keep making these stupid little changes. You have to talk to him before you go on vacation. Otherwise, I swear I'm bringing it up to Pete. I want to pull my hair out, but uh, Babowski has cast and cited a contract, uh, signed a contract with Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. I don't care how much of the Tomb of a Moon Ra grows. The Mistress of Mystery is a brunette, not blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The Mistress of Mystery is confident. A match for the Shroud and his best day, not some half-starved wife that's known for her shrill screaming. Shannon Rivers has worked for us for decades. She is the voice of the Mistress of the Mystery. And end of story. She's even a natural brunette. She's not a, as young as Claire, but surely we can do something with lightning to, uh, lighting to help with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I want to have my name in the credits for this train wreck. <laughs> Let's see. Vivi, relax. If it's the, uh, that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What is it with you guys and Miss, uh, Mrs. Rivers anyway? Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face made for radio. Am I right? Claire's got star power, and that's what we need. I talked with Petey Boy, and he's agreed to a couple of new scenes. We need romance, and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this, then uh, I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. I got a full schedule today. Dress rehearsals until 8. This can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So if we have to meet, 8's my only window. So, uh, yeah, she wasn't too happy about this whole thing. Take that. Ah, another one. Bloody cool. Damn. I'm waiting I'm wasting way too much ammunition with this. Way too much. Just because I can't seem to Ah, where the hell did you come from? Look at this. How the frig did I miss that again? I am really not in a uh, in a good condition to play this, I have I have to say. Hello. Hello? Can I shoot you, please? If you're gonna stop wiggling about, I can shoot you, but... Ugh, now you come down. You know what? If I can't hit anything, I'm gonna do this. Bang! Oh, that was it. Well, I guess I should be doing that all the time. Just took one bloody bullet. <laughs> and I should probably eat something, because my health is kinda low. Um... What do we have? We have some drugged water. <laughs> uh, grilled ragstag. That's a lot of health, actually. Yummy. Alright, anything else over here? That's just the elevator. So let's go up here. Yes, yeah, so this, uh, this combat rifle is quite nice, but it's a bit... Oh, excuse me. Uh, it's a bit slow on firing. Slow rate of fire, so it's not really perfect for a close quarters combat. Um, but it does pack quite a punch. And of course... It is quite accurate, I have to say. Really? This thing again? I think he's gonna get killed by, uh... Yep, there we go. By dog meat. Good boy. Gonna use my, uh... Vault thingy, uh, light here. 
But anyway, before we continue, um, we're gonna continue next time, actually. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.